Hello everyone, welcome to our new video where today we are going to take a look at the top 5 best DSLR cameras on the market in 2017. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability and reliability. If you want to find out the price and more information about these DSLR cameras, make sure to check the links in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 we have the Pentax K70. The Pentax K70 has a reputation for delivering features reserved for premium models in its entry-level and mid-range SLR lines. Pentax is pitching the K70 at the outdoor photography market, promising new opportunities and discoveries in capturing photos with out-of-this-world qualities. The Pentax K70's DSLR camera body is well balanced. The right-hand side offers a stable grip. It has two setup dials where the first is located in front of the shutter release button and the second is found on the back and operated uh, by the thumb of the right hand which allows quick and efficient changes of all image parameters. It's dustproof, weather resistant and cold resistant down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. There are 100 seals through the body, including the articulating LCD display and the grip is designed to stay grippy even when you're wearing gloves. Despite all this, the K70 is still pretty compact for a fully featured APS-C format DSLR. It's portable too. It contains a large and bright viewfinder compared to other APS-C cameras, offers 100% field of view and shows all important image parameters like shutter speed, aperture setting, ICO speed, flash mode and more. The rear screen has a flip-out very angle mechanism, which already makes it pretty useful, but the promise of faster live view out of focus makes it better still. You can also use it for shooting video, of course, although the K70 stops at full HD resolution. Images taken from this camera are very good, and as a plus, there is a mode optimized for night and astrophotography that reduces the impact of ambient light. Who doesn't like to take pictures in nights with good qualities, right? The built-in Wi-Fi enables the camera to be controlled by a smartphone or tablet with a rich image since Android and iOS apps, which is great because you can save your photos while you are shooting. I highly recommend this camera because it gives a sense of common and professionality to the entry-level or semi-level photographers. Moving on, at number 4 we have the Nikon D750. The Nikon D750 is a camera worth of attention, because it is their lightest FX camera which offers fantastic AF performance and captures the details of an image in any light. Imagine, you can capture photos in any light, and this won't affect the image quality. To keep the camera lightweight, Nikon used a combination of magnesium alloy and carbon fiber in the construction, making the D750 slightly lighter. In addition to the solid build, Nikon also weather sealed the D750 against dust and moisture, just like on higher end cameras. I am happy to say that the construction of the D750 is indeed excellent and it can easily survive in tough weather conditions. Nikon really does a nice job on photo quality, because the shots are mouth-watering and the XP4 processor moves things smoothly along making it capable of long bursts at 6.5 frames per second without skipping a beat, and the record full HD video at up to 60p. There is also the clarity control, which enables the micro contrast of the images to be adjusted to give the appearance of stronger shapes and outlines, with less risk of halos and oversharpening problems. Videographers will appreciate the stereo microphone and headphone ports along with the ability to fine-tune audio levels in isolating before and during record. It's also possible to select the sound range for adjustment and adjust aperture with uh, buttons rather than dials for smoother, quieter operation. Wind noise can also be reduced when recording with the built-in microphone. The D750 is also unique amongst full-frame DSLRs currently in having a tilting screen, which is another advantage when shooting video in particular. Nikon has came a long way as well with its wireless mobile utility app, and it's quite simple pairing the DSLR to a smartphone and tablet for sharing or remote operation. Simply put, this camera is for shooters who demand superior performance in all types of light and for travelers and adventurers who need the lightest possible camera with full frame image quality. Nikon D750 is one of the best DSLRs and it's a must have because it is an absolute bargain for the quality it produces. At number 3 we have the Canon EOS Rebel T6. The Canon EOS Rebel T6, also called the EOS 13000D, outside the USA is an inexpensive, most affordable, entry-level, lightweight DSLR with great performance. It's easy to shoot, shoots well, and the pictures look much better than most other big brands' cameras due to Canon's generally superior color rendition. 
Rebus T6 design doesn't deviate from the entry-level SLR design template in any way. It sports a black body with a plastic outer shell weighing in at 1.1 pounds without the lens. The Canon EOS Rebel T6 offers Wi-Fi functionality and establishing a connection to a smartphone or tablet is easy because it offers an NFC system. Canon offers the free app Canon Camera Connect for Android and iOS systems, which can be pretty useful. The images of the Canon EOS Rebel T6 show natural looking and the sharpness is great because it is affected by the intense sharpness filtering done by Digi's 4 Plus processor. As a plus, T6 offers an auto mode as a default instead of standard mode, which may cause different sharpness setting when the image processor detects scenes with very hard black and white contrast lines. The very angle dark screen uses technology similar to today's popular mobile devices. It's touch sensitive and delivers intuitive touch panel operation. This camera can shoot up to 5.0 frames per second continuously, whether capturing that perfect expression as delivers the speed and performance to guarantee results. I highly recommend this camera because many gravitate toward in order to step up from a smartphone or pocket camera, and this is a good start to begin from and expand yourself deeper in the world of photography. Moving on at number 2 we have the Nikon D3400. The Nikon D3400 combines great image quality from its 24 megapixel APS-C sensor with a user-friendly design and reliable performance across the board. The camera's body is mainly in plastic, having a classy rubber coating on the grip, which also appears on the thumb rest on the back of the camera. It is almost identical to its predecessor in terms of the overall dimension and weight, with all of the external controls in pretty much the same places as before. The camera is built around the same 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor found in its predecessor, along with an XP4 image processor, full HD video capture and 11-point autofocus system. Image quality is a strong point of this model, because it follows a convincing dynamic range backed up by an accurate matrix mat metering. Color reproduction is vibrant yet faithful, and in everyday shooting, detail is well resolved. The picture control feature provides a wide array of color options to work with so that you can create customized work while minimizing uh, post-processing. The Nikon D3400 features a 1080p Full HD D movie mode. At the highest resolution setting, the camera can record movies at 60p, 50p, 30p, 25p and 24p, while at uh, 1280 by 720 pixels you can choose from 60p and 50p. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't have Wi-Fi, but it does have Bluetooth LE connectivity for transferring Im images from the camera to a smartphone via the SnapBridge application. The Nikon D3400 is powered by a proprietary lithium-ion battery that now offers an impressive 1200 shot life and ships with a cordless charger that plugs directly into a main socket, which is a great thing because every photograph wants to capture as much photos as possible. Set that aside, this camera offers more than enough room to improve their photographic skills, and in any case, the D3400 is worth every penny you spend on it, especially if you are a beginner. To finish off our list, at number 1 we have the Canon EOS 80D. The Canon EOS 80D is an enthusiastic level DSLR and a successor to the 70D. The speed and confidence of a traditional mid-range DSLR coupled with the, one of the best movie and live view autofocus systems on the market. This gives you the choice of uncompromised shooting whether you're using the optical viewfinder or the fully articulated touchscreen. Featuring a body sealed against dust and moisture, the ATD has a polycarbonate exterior and magnesium alloy chassis. It is nearly identical in design to its predecessor, with the majority of controls accessible via the articulating inferior touchscreen, as well as via physical control parts, and it's in your typical all black DSLR body style. It looks like every Canon DSLR with an all black body with a textured finish. It's a bit bulky, but a lot of photographers like the large grip and substantial body, helping you keep the thing steady when, you, when held. While the maximum continuous shooting rate is the same as 70Ds at 7 frames per second, the burst depth has been increased to 110 JPX, which is a significant step up. The LCD is a very angled design that means it's mounted on a hinge and can swing away from the body to face all the way forward, up, down or at any angle in between. It can also fold flat and hide away against the body, so you won't have to worry about smudging it when bringing the camera to your eye to shoot. Wi-Fi is built in. The ATD connects to an Android or iOS device running the Canon Camera Connect app. This app supports image and video transfer and remote control. The app includes a GPS login feature, but it doesn't support adding location data to images from the ATD, that function only works with the PowerShot compact cameras. 
What I love about the camera is the jump to 1080 60p Full HD video from 1080 30p compared to the previous version. The new autofocus system which has 45 focus points and covers more of the frame. The battery is also great because battery life is rated at 960 shots according to Canon SIPA test results, which is very good and a slight improvement over the 920 shots offered by the EOS 70D. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video, you can find links to all the DSLR cameras down in the description and the comment section below, so if you wanna find out more information about them, you can go check them out. Also, if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.